Hey guys, welcome back to the Adobe Live YouTube channel. My name's Jacob, or better known as by Jacob Barris. I'm a freelance graphic designer and content creator, and I've partnered with Adobe Live on a series teaching you all about turning your digital design into real tangible items with Adobe Fresco and Adobe Illustrator. In today's episode, we're taking all the information that we learned from the last two episodes and applying it. We're creating today. So if you missed those two episodes, make sure to go back, check them out. I'm not going anywhere, and you can come back to this one. Okay, it's time to get into it. Let's hop into Adobe Fresco. All right, now that we're in Fresco, you'll probably notice that we're picking up pretty much exactly where we left off. For this stage in the process of sketching, I tend to like to just sketch directly in Fresco instead of on paper. It just eliminates having to scan things in and I can just transfer them directly to Illustrator. Really, what I like to do when I have my reference down is give myself as much room as possible to draw. So I'm just gonna shrink down our reference photo a little bit more and go ahead and make a few new layers from it. What I can do is kind of zoom in on my mushroom, do like just a quick sketch, just so I know how this mushroom is shaped. Obviously, if we weren't as constricted on time, I would go a little more in detail on this, but this is the general idea that I like to use for using reference. It's usually just to get an idea of how things are shaped. So when I'm drawing the characters, they're a little more accurate to the real life thing. So now that I have kind of like my shapes down and a general idea of how these mushrooms are gonna be shaped, I'm just going to go into the sketching process and for the settings i just like to turn the opacity down to like 40 ish percent and use a pixel brush that's like six pixels or something like that. usually i start with what the general size of my character is going to be and the characters beside them i think how i would want this specific poster set up i would want it to be kind of oriented like this where we have like a smaller character down on the right a uh, medium-sized character on the left and then the largest character in the back in the middle uh, and now we can just kind of get into the sketching process Really with this, I like to be fast and loose. I don't want it to be too detailed because I'm not gonna be really married to any specific shape or design. I wanna be able to expand on this and not be attached to any specific pose or shape because obviously we want to get as many ideas out as possible. Sometimes the first idea isn't always the best idea. That is totally okay. Okay, so we've got our general shape worked in for this character. And you can see, again, it's really, really rough. So if I don't really necessarily like this shape, what I like to do is add another layer and just draw them again in a different angle. The thing about this process is it's meant to be very loose. You're meant to get those ideas out there and get a general basis down and don't necessarily expend all of your energy on the first initial sketch. And it's much easier to build off of more crudely drawn things than it is things that are more detailed. So I'm gonna expand on this a little bit more just by adding some deeper lines, adding some more details and going more into this. All right, and that's our first character etched out and conceptualized. Again, I really like to be loose with these things because in Illustrator, we can expand on this even more and it's good to kind of have a fun, loose foundation to be able to build off. Now, let's do this with another character, the same kind of concept. In this case, maybe I want to draw a morel mushroom character that's kind of like a wizard or something. That's kind of the first thing that came to my head. If you're not familiar with morel mushrooms, they look like this. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna use this exact reference to the right of me to look at. 
and yeah, let's let's doodle them up. Let's make something cool. I like the direction this is going. I think our proportions might be a little weird right now, so I'm just gonna adjust those. Sweet. I, I like where this character is going. For the sake of time, I'm just gonna go over this specific sketch one more time and go from there. Great, now we have our next sketch. What I can do here is now, you typically I'll try to size it with the sketch that I've done. So I can just go to the transform tool, literally just drag it into our circle. We can kind of size it accordingly and also we can adjust this later. But again, for this being a sketch, very simple, just throwing it in there, kind of making it fit. So far, I think we're at a great spot. I'm really happy with how this looks. So now we just need to do one more character and we'll have our foundation down to start building out an illustrator. I'm super happy with this sketch. I think it's at a great point to build off of, and, and I feel like it's really cute. I feel like it adds to these characters. So same process as always. I drag this over here, make sure it fits. We can even take this layer and shrink it. Maybe we'll tilt this to where it's a bit more. But yeah, this is pretty much the process of designing characters and laying down a basis for them. Obviously, there's a lot of refinement that can go into these sketches. And to save you guys some time, I'll do that off screen. But all these sketch processes look different. And I want to highly encourage you to mess around and see what workflow works best for you. Because that's the fun thing about art is there's no right way to make it, right? You can kind of do whatever you want. I really hope you enjoyed this episode peeking into my personal design process. I know it looks a little bit different than the first two with this being a little more loose and hands-on, but the goal is to show you the process from start to finish and include as much detail as possible. Let me know down in the comments if your creative process looks any different than mine and how you go through your sketching process when you're designing. Next episode, we're refining these sketches and we're getting into the thick of drawing with turning your concept art into vector art. Hope you learned something and hope you have a great day. See you next episode. Bye.